if I get to the end of the vlog again and there's no news, then it's just going to be a bit tiresome, really. So I'm waiting. Oh, oh. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Supercars of London. How are we all doing? I'm currently sat in the Fiat 500 outside our local supermarket. But I just want to start now. Before I drop my girlfriend off at work, and then I'm going to be heading to SB. I'm going to get the Montar car mount. As you can see, it's not up at the moment. It never is. I only put it up for when I vlog. And um, I'm hoping today is going to be a productive day. The last two times I said that, I said it will be a productive day. And it turned out not to be. So I'm going to say I'm hoping. I'm going to be hopeful that it's going to be a productive day. I'm going to do everything I can to make it productive. We're now on a move. Like I said, next time you're gonna see me, I was just gonna be cruising. I am cruising. And um, quick, quick fact of the day, really early on in the vlog, is that we are currently about two minutes away from Harry Potter World. And that you will see it, it's the big yellow building. I'm not sure whether it's gonna come up on the camera. Shut the window, maybe that will help. Let me know whether you can see Harry Potter World. There's Privet Drive, there's all of the studios and probably where the Great Hall and Floating Candles are. I'm headed to SB and the first thing I'm gonna do before I forget is edit yesterday's vlog. Now yesterday's vlog was very uncar related or non-car related just as the whole of my weekend was. There was literally no supercars apart from in the Top Golf car park. You sometimes get some nice cars. And um, as you saw, that Aston Martin was really nice. I loved that Aston Martin. I didn't film it too much. I filmed the Maserati more. They're both cool. Then I'm gonna work out the best time to do a periscope. And this is gonna be um, something I'm excited about doing again. The last periscope was a great way to introduce the fact that I'm on periscope. 45 minutes in London, car spotting. Let me know in the comments, do you want to see that again? Do you want to see another car spotting periscope broadcast where it's more difficult for me to engage with you guys because all of the comments are coming in but I'm obviously looking around trying to find the supercars, what, what to find and things like that. Or do I do a periscope where I'm in the SB office or it's in the evening and I'm just sitting in a room or I'm sitting in a car and we do like a QA and a in someone's car or even in a car that I have. Let me know what you think is the best way to go about it. Look how good I am being. Time is 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock ladies and gentlemen and I am beginning yesterday's vlog whilst uploading to Instagram as well. And I've got to do a bit of a parcel run. Basically, this is a suit that I bought for the christening that didn't fit. That is a shirt that I bought for the christening that didn't fit. So if you didn't watch yesterday's vlog or don't follow me on Instagram, then I was at a christening yesterday and I was made a godfather, an official godfather. Um, so I had to buy a soup shirt, I had to buy the whole outfit. And basically, the first suit that I bought didn't fit. But the problem was, I'd ordered it too close to the christening to return it and then buy it again. So I had to buy two suits and I'm now having to return that one. So that is going to be a bit of an errand that I have to run today. But firstly, I just want to get this video finished. In my head, I've got an idea of how I want it to look. This is like a Q&A mixed with like a bit of sport, a bit of golf, as you would have seen yesterday. So hopefully it came out the way that I wanted it to. I've got an idea in my head that I want to like skip back to some old content during the questions, um, but at the same time, just have some fun with the vlog and try and work on my editing skills a little bit. Two things that I want to do to my videos to make them better. One is do a different intro. Do a something quite cool, a cool little intro that isn't just my logo that comes up and goes away. So that is number one. Guys, my video software has frozen nine minutes and 41 worth of content has frozen. Now normally when this happens, it means that the editing software is going to shut down. This is a real problem because this has taken me ages. This has taken me 45 minutes so far to get to nine minutes. And I think I've still got another two or three minutes of footage that I need to put in. 
but I'm worried that it's actually going to lose the whole thing. I'm going to have to re-edit the whole thing, which is an absolute pain in the ass. Nervous times. Oh, come on. So, um, the laptop's about three years old. This might have an effect on it. Um, the problem is, I'm so used to the Windows. When I bought the Mac, it just was not... It just wasn't good. I did not enjoy using the MacBook at all. I was very, very hesitant to buy one, but it was the guys down at wherever they were that were selling it. They were like, this is the one to have if you're doing video editing. This is why you do it for the video editing, but also it's going to be a long-term investment, blah, 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 blah. It's very good over five, ten years. Much better than the Windows and all of that stuff. I agree with him. I agree with him. Everyone that has got a MacBook and has got used to it has def definitely benefited from it from it but I personally much prefer Windows so that is probably going to answer so many questions and comments that are going to come from this video and vlog but this is a real pain in the ass. this is just some of the everyday technical difficulties that I have to deal with. Let me get set up here with with the delivery things basically when I went to lunch oh, go on Minnie I tried to cross this road and the lorry driver, which I thought was stopping, didn't actually stop. Which scared me a little bit. It is so ridiculously hot. And the one thing with, what you'll find with Cassiebury is the fact that it's a very, very quiet estate. Lots of straight roads, no roundabouts apart from the one behind me. So there's loads of learners. And this one is currently Doing about 15 miles an hour. Oh, look at that house. That is awesome. There are some really, what? Oh, it's a bright colored house. So there are some nice houses on this road. It's quite a nice part of the world. But yeah, there is a lot of learners. What I'm gonna do is turn right before they indicate, so, oh, thank God they're turning left. I'm gonna turn right and show you some really cool houses on this estate. Look at this one, guys. Massive. And this right here is where I grew up playing tennis from the age of four. Oh look, Maserati. Look at that. Check out my super close. Look at that. Ferrari versus Ferrari, or Fiat versus Fiat. How good does black 360s look with no front plate? Sam, if you're watching this out in Bali, get a black 360, put a 360 Challenge Stradale front bumper on and a Challenge Stradale exhaust system. Just going through some emails. This is by far the most boring part of the day as I try and get through all of the emails that have come over from the Friday and the Saturday and Sunday and the Monday morning to just try and get everything up to speed or get the important ones up to speed. Work on um, literally just trying to do business basically. This is the the business side of what I get up to. So um, the, the, the filming which is going on now, the supercar spotting in London um, is obviously the fun side of it. But a lot of the organization that goes into going into London, meetings with companies, all happens here on my phone through emails or through phone calls. So unfortunately this is just a part of what I get up to on a day to day. So so as you all know the way these vlogs work is that I film on the day. 24 hours later it gets uploaded to my YouTube channel. The time is currently quarter to five and I'm leaving SB Race Engineering with one lead on a loan car. Now this is a car that I have absolutely no idea about anything. I have no knowledge on the car. I've never ever looked it up, never ever done any research on it, but BMW have come to me and um, in my times of need offered me one of their city cars. Now it might have already appeared on my Instagram and Twitter. I might be moving around the UK in this car right now as you're watching this video. But from right now, in this perspective, 
I have no idea, but I have a lead that BMW might lend me an i3. Now, this car is um, a car that I've never ever, like I said, never ever done any research on. I don't even know whether it's a full electric or a hybrid, or I just have seen them in London, think they look quite funny, think they look quite cool. I don't really know too much about it and haven't taken too much time into doing any sort of research. So, as of now, quarter to five, this is going down to the wire again in terms of a loan car. Tomorrow could potentially be a lot of fun if I do get a set of wheels. The Fiat 500 could be in place as well as an opportunity for me to drive tomorrow over to Essex to um, GAD tuning and dub customs. But if that is, if, if I do get this BMW, then I'm going to drive that and I'm going to let my girlfriend obviously take the Fiat 500 to work. Um, so I need to pack all of my stuff up now, which you might be able to see is going on there and there, and there.